Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Happy July 4th weekend. Today is July 3rd, Friday, but since Mrs. Capper is off, it feels like Saturday. Kind of like she's cracking a whip on me. But anyways, we got a big time mixed bag here for a farm vlog because we haven't had one for a while. Um, so this first one, this is a doe. She's a yearling from last year. Mrs. Capper put just a little bit of this in the last wildlife video, but I thought I'd add some more clips because it's pretty interesting. We might have to name this one because now she's bedding right here in the corner of our house. Look at her licking my ground wire from the antenna. Anyway, she's bedding right here in the corner of the house. In the afternoon, this is all nice and shaded. In the, in the morning, though, she's laying right in the sun, but doesn't seem to bother her. So anyways, we're going to catch you up to speed on what we've been doing lately in the last eh, week or so, week and a half, give or take. We've got some wildlife stuff, some new stuff that you haven't seen yet. And don't forget, if you enjoy our stuff, hit the like button and share it because we greatly appreciate that. So uh, let's get into this week's uh, mixed bag for the farm vlog. This is all on our Illinois farm. And we're also wishing everyone a wonderful Independence Weekend here in the States. So uh, hope you have some fun and enjoy the weekend. So let's keep moving on here. Okay, so in today's episode, I'm going to give you an update on the soybeans from today, July 3rd. So I'm just taking you back a few weeks. This was May 3rd, two months ago when I started tilling up the soybean plots. And uh, today I finished spraying them for hopefully the last time, and they're actually looking pretty good. So I will give you an update um, here just a little bit later in the video on how the soybeans are doing this year. Redneck Country drive through may I take your order? Uh, yes, I'll have two organic turkey drumsticks and two organic turkey breasts slathered in gravy, and I don't want to leave my chair of my office. the end of June and we've been just getting hammered with uh, inordinate amount of rain again here in the last uh, week or so we had a real nice dry spell but you could see over here we've got all kinds of new washouts coming down the driveway that I need to work on there's a couple new ones up higher up yet also Okay, so since we got some new washouts, I decided I'm going to take the tractor out. I'm, I got a future video coming out on this, but it's basically for like newer tractor owners. On if you don't have a, a box blade or if you don't have a land plane or anything, how you can do gravel work. And also how float mode actually works. I mean, there are some people that don't even know they have float mode on their front end loaders. So look for this video coming out here in the near future this was from today here Saturday or I'm sorry Friday July 3rd um, but it should be another fun video so stay tuned for this one
hello, beautiful. Not sure if that's a king snake, a corn snake, or a rat snake. Beautiful. What's up, man? Oh, I love sneakies. Most people would run that over on their own driveway, but not me. Not me. It's not poisonous, so I'm not really too concerned. Go on, buddy. Get off the road. That's all I want you to do. Come on, go. Yes, I know you're just defending yourself. Gotta get by though. Oh, look at how pretty you are. Pretty. Beautiful. Go on, there you go. There you go. Oh, I love snakes. Beauty. All right, let's head in. Capper's Redneck Drive-In, can I help you please? Uh, yes, I'll have some rabbit stew fricassee with extra thick gravy and maybe some potatoes in it. And I don't want to leave my office chair here. I, I'm kind of busy now. Can you please deliver that right to me? Thank you very much. All right, breaking out the 10 foot ATV sprayer today. Um, actually, I just finished, but I took this out because I was having trouble with the uh, the big boom sprayer so, and I didn't feel like dinking with it. So at least I got one, um, roughly four or five acres done so far. It started drizzling on me just a little, but it's holding off. A farmer friend of mine said basically, uh, 45 minutes is all it really needs to set up and soak into the plants. So we'll see. Oh, here's a little bitty baby sparrow, I think. Super small, can't even hardly fly. Hey, little one. There. Let's hope mom keeps an eye on you. So if you're into mushroom hunting, today Mrs. Capper went scouting for, um, wow, what's that orange one called? Geez, I just had it in front of me. Hang on a minute. Chanterelles, that's what the orange ones are. So she went scouting because one of her co-workers eats these. They're supposed to be really good, these chanterelles. So anyway, she's going to go back out and make a video of mushroom hunting on Sunday so she could bring him some fresh ones on Monday after the weekend. So she will put a mushroom hunting video up here in the, probably the next couple of weeks. So definitely looking forward to some time out in the woods with Mrs. Capper. Here's a look at the section I hit uh, about a week ago maybe. It's, you can see it's wilting off pretty nicely. We got a lot of nice beans coming in and then here's one I'm just starting to hit today. So you can see how this is much greener Man, is it wet. I'm leaving ruts out here, but we got beans. Man, after this this die off, I mean, we might actually have a full, you know, not quite farm quality, but a full farm of beans here. So, fingers crossed. We've had enough rain. Look at them babies sticking up. And then here is uh, the... Uh, Warm season grass mix slash regen slash pine plantings. This is all going to be new cover in here. It's going to separate. Basically, this is about the center of the farm. It's going to separate north from the south. So once this grows up, you know, whatever's going on on one end ain't going to affect the other end very much at all. So uh, looking good on the beans. Look at this spot down here. This is all beans. There's virtually very little grass and weeds in there but 
they're starting to come on with all the rain we've had these might uh, shade over here before too long so this is really encouraging don't know if they're gonna grow pods or not for sure um, the ones that were eaten down I guess we'll find out this year all right my favorite spot right behind the house uh, the clovers doing really nice just sprayed all of this here. There is beans under that mess. Clover's looking really good. Been mowing that, and then there's that new clearing. Hopefully, it'll be a plot by this fall. But I'm definitely on the comeback. Look at that clover. That's just for mowing. That's really it. 